Hi everybody, it's now April 20, 2018. I saw this video on High Impact Flix's channel and I really need to speak to it now. Intelligent Guy completely exposes globalist secrets and agenda on mainstream NBC, mainstream media, MSNBC. Okay, we all know that these guys don't get on mainstream media like MSNBC without their agenda. Jeffrey Sachs is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Jeffrey Sachs is a globalist. He is playing a role here. He's talking about um, Syria, and what Trump did, and you can, I'll link below to everything, you can watch this video, Jeffrey Sachs on America, and a new world order. And he talks about how scary Trump is, and he also talks about all of the wars. All right, Jeffrey Sachs's role is to and I believe Trump is in this staged play that we are watching. Trump, he's crazy, he's impulsive, he doesn't wait for investigations or evidence, he doesn't go to Congress, everything is just complete and utter chaos, and he's just dropping bombs everywhere and killing people with the, the drone strikes, and but all of these wars breaking out, chaos all over the world, that is part of the agenda to move us closer and closer to that one world government which will be the United Nations. Jeffrey Sachs has been the special advisor to the Secretary General of the United Nations. He was with Baki Moon and he still is with Antonio Gutierrez. And he has unprecedented access to the Vatican. All right, I'm going to show you proof of everything that I've just said. But no, he's not exposing any secrets. He is just on cue talking about all of these wars and how, yeah, we need a new world order. Okay, so Council on Foreign Relations, and believe it or not, the United Nations created, created, ready for this? You want to talk, you want to talk 1984? A World Happiness Council. A World Happiness Council that was created last year, and it's up and running. They launched it in Dubai, February 11th through the 13th. It was an extraordinary event with 4,000 global notables. And it was held under the banner of One uh, or World Government Summit. The organizations, the corporations, the partners that are sponsoring this World Government Summit, United Nations, UNESCO, the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, um, and media organizations like CNN, Sky News, Harvard Business Review, Popular Science. And who attended some of those notables? Richard Branson of Virgin Group, the airline, Elon Musk, Christine Lagarde, the uh, managing director of the International Monetary Fund, UNESCO's director general, Irina Bokava, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name, a longtime Communist Party operative for Bulgaria's murderous and notoriously corrupt regime. And isn't that a fabulous person to work with none other than Jeffrey Sachs, Senior United Nations Advisor, 
and director of the George Soros-funded Earth Institute at Columbia University. And Jeffrey Sachs is an advisor to Antonio Guterres, who is the former president of the Socialist International. The New World Order is communist. Communism on steroids. And yes, this guy who's exposing the globalist secrets, he's right there and has been working for many, many years. Oh, what is this? Group launches America's goals for 2030. Jeffrey Sachs. He has his own website, jeffreysachs.center. Leaders in Sustainable Development. What is this? Leaders in Sustainable Development. Empowering leaders to elevate the region to the forefront of global sustainable development goals achievement. Jeffrey Sachs. He teaches leaders around the world in sustainable development. How to bring it about in your country. Um, and this article is, you know, when I saw this video and I saw Jeffrey Sachs, I thought, oh my God, no, it can't be. It can't be Mr. Vatican himself. Here he is with Pope Paul. Unprecedented access right smack into the Vatican. And he still has it under Pope Fram Francis, a top population control proponent has attained unprecedented access and influence at the Vatican. A presenter for an international symposium on population control, Jeffrey Sachs. And this Italian journalist, Riccardo Cassioli, I'll call him Riccardo, was at this symposium and it was at the Vatican in the Pope Francis pontificate. And they're talking about population control at the Vatican, the Catholic Church. Okay. Um, Ricardo revealed specifics leading to a magic moment that had been reached where the speech of the church and that of the United Nations have some synergy. Ah, <gasps> oh, the United Nations and the Catholic Church come together. Well, we know about the Catholic Church and how it is moving the world closer and closer to that one world government with one world religion. But Ricardo was one of 12 experts from across the world to address the threat of population control for the International Conference on Population Control. And his presentation was titled, Jeffrey Sachs, the man behind the hidden drive for population control, masked as poverty reduction. And this Italian journalist spoke of um, sustainable development, and he mentioned that the church's social doctrine that doctrine, if they include the concept of sustainable development, it will be a decisive step in the globalist agenda. The Catholic Church was, and it is, the only point of resistance to the ideology of the New World Order, to the idea of a world-led government guided by technocratic elites. Now, I didn't listen to this interview, the, the full interview, it's a, an hour and 26 minutes, but the idea of creating all of these wars and chaos all over the place, well, it is for dominance, but it is also to get the world's people to get so fed up with all of the chaos and violence that they will readily accept the United Nations to step in. 
and that's his role. That's what he's promoting. Um, so he's all for these wars. Don't think that he's not. So whatever he's saying about Trump and, and Trump bombing Syria and all of that, you know, it's all... Well, if you listen to him, yeah, he's, he's speaking what we speak. But that's the idea. You know, you play both sides and... Well, it just moves us along. Because the, the end result that Jeffrey Sachs wants and the end result that I want are very different. And that's why it's important to really do the research on these people. Because they are promoting something very, very different from what High Impact Flicks wants. That's for sure. So, this Ricardo, the Italian journalist, he was the one who was exposing the New World Order. But he was exposing Jeffrey Sachs as the sustainable development guru. Sachs is crucial to understanding the change in recent years in the Holy See's stance on population development and the environment. Sachs is a Harvard-educated economics professor at Columbia University and a high-level United Nations consultant regarded as a leading expert in economic development and fighting poverty. Yes, he has twice been included on the Time magazine list of 100 most influential people in the world. So again, you don't get on that list and you sure don't get on MSNBC, well, if you're criticizing Trump, okay, great, we'll put you on. But you don't get on these shows without, you know, it's, they have their, there's two things operating always. The directly spoken agenda and then the hidden agenda. So MSNBC, it, look, this whole, the press hating Trump, please. All of this is just to bring about more and more chaos and for Americans to just get so fed up that they throw up their hands and say, Hell, I don't know what the hell is going on. But it was brilliant to bring in Trump, who is so impulsive. And all of this talk about Trump moving us closer to World War III and a nuclear war, all of it is headed in the direction of the United Nations taking over and the establishment of a one-world government. What else was uh, Ricardo talking about? Sachs has advocated abortion in his work, describing it as a lower risk and lower cost option than having children. Uh, his book, Commonwealth Economics for a Crowded Planet. Now, the United Nations has already reported the world is experiencing an fertility crisis. There is a male fertility crisis. The, the world's population is going down. Well, the fertility crisis has been deliberately created with all of the chemicals and, and Wi-Fi that also causes infertility. So all of that is deliberate. But when you see, yeah, it was in 2008, but we're still hearing these people talk about the planet. It's so crowded. It's so crowded. I mean, Sachs actually said in that book that something about how, oh, let me get to that. Here, Sachs speeches 
in his speeches, spoke of the world being overcrowded and human beings in each other's faces as never before and pressing on the Earth's environment as never before. Really. There's plenty of space on this planet. Sachs said poor countries were stuck with fertility rates higher than replacement rates and that poor families with large numbers of children are held back in nutrition, health, and education. Yes, he's so concerned about poor people around the world. Don't you love it? I mean, we can't even get families to care about family members. And these people like Bill Gates and, and this guy, Jeffrey Sachs, they care so much. They care so much for Oh, brown and black people in other countries and how poor they are. Really? Okay. Well, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn that I would love to sell you. I need the money, so put in your bids underneath this video. But in Commonwealth Economics for a Crowded Planet, Sachs said legalized abortion is a cost-effective way to eliminate unwanted children when contraception fails. In 2011, he said Nigeria should work towards attaining a maximum of three children per family. Sachs has been invited to collaborate with the Vac Vatican a number of times, moderating and co-hosting a Vatican conference on climate change. Yep, climate change and the common good. That was Sachs that was the title of the Vatican Environmental Mission Statement. Climate Change and the Common Good. And, oh, who co-authored that mission statement for the Vatican? Jeffrey Sachs. So, um, here you have him on CNN in 2010. An economist, Columbia University. And he's out there exposing that our system is rigged. Our economic system, it's rigged. He cares so much about poor people. He's talking about a rigged system. He knows full well it's rigged and has been forever. It's worked really well for him, but it's not working for an awful lot of Americans. What are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Oh, we're going to turn our sovereignty over to the United Nations. And we're going to create a new world order. And <laughs> this is the guy, the special advisor to the Secretary General not just the present Secretary General of the United Nations, but the previous Secretary General of the United Nations. That's where this guy wants all countries to go. That's why he's on MSNBC. That's why he's talking about these crazy wars. And guess what? The globalists don't care uh, whether or not their agendas are exposed because the New World Order has already been established. It would be a shock if tomorrow we turn over our sovereignty to the United Nations, but the United Nations already is pretty much in control of our country. And their agendas, the United Nations agenda, 2030, it still rolls on throughout our country. They're still building those smart cities, which Jeffrey Sachs is, he's just wowed, yes. In fact, he says, he gives kudos to Trump in this interview. And, in fact, 
this article summarizes. So if you don't want to watch and listen to this guy, you can just read the summary here of what they talk about during that um, interview. Jeffrey Sachs was recently ranked by The Economist as one of the world's most influential political scientists. No Trump supporter himself, he came to the Intelligence Squared stage to explain why there may be silver linings to the Trump cloud and to set out a new world order. The silver linings to the Trump cloud, what are they? What are they? Sustainable development, a new world order. Sachs argued that we are entering not a new tripolar world dominated by the US, China, and Russia, but what he calls the world century, in which the rapid spread of technology and the sovereignty of nation states mean that no single country or region will dominate the world. For Sachs, the great foreign policy challenge will be to manage cooperation among regions and face up to our common environmental and health crises. The idea that one place or people should have primacy over any other should be as antiquated as silver, uh, slavery or empire and guard us against the senseless descent into violence, which Trump is bringing us into. Many are talking about Trump bringing us to the brink of World War III. Nuclear war, oh my God. But he also talks about Trump's $1 trillion infrastructure program that, well, it had to have been um, approved of by Congress. So I haven't heard anything about that. I've done a lot of research on it, and his infrastructure plan is, hey, Agenda 2030, which I still have to post that video, but Sachs, Sachs loves the infrastructure plan. Why? Because it's Agenda 2030. It will, it will um, allow rural counties and cities and all of those mega region areas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just put in America 2050 mega regions and you will come across a site that will give you all of the information about these mega regions. But yes, they are reshaping the United States and there will only be 10 or 11 mega regions left and everything else will just be no use for human beings. The infrastructure plan allows private, public-private partnerships in virtually every, everything contained within that infrastructure plan. Trump is handing over to private companies, private developers, our infrastructure. When it gets into the hands of private developers, private companies, they make their own rules. They don't have to abide by the Constitution, even though the Constitution is dead and we all know that, but that is part and parcel of moving us closer to getting those mega regions, those smart cities in the mega regions, up and running, where they will be able to control every aspect of our lives. In fact, Sachs said he believes that infrastructure plan will be Trump's great legacy. So, I just needed to point that out because I see these videos and I go, oh, no, 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 
he's not a good guy, Jeffrey Sachs. He's really not a good guy. He's, he's just a deceptive, lying globalist who is, uh, he's just working for all of the globalists who want to reshape the world and create a prison for the world's people where these technocratic elite crazy psychopathic nut jobs will control us and will get a universal basic income and let me pause it for one second okay I did not research Jeffrey Sachs's stance on the universal basic income I vaguely remember him saying that it might not work in the United States, but you can't quote me on that. I just came up with an article. This is a quote of Jeffrey Sachs's. I think that from a human decency standard, there's a lot of sense to the idea that everybody in a society should be able to meet their basic needs. Um, I well, that's true, and you know what? If we didn't have government, and we didn't have these crazy technocratic elitist nut jobs, people would be fine. But we are already so controlled with all of the rules and the regulations and the laws and taxes and, and the destruction of our economy and the outsourcing of all of these jobs and all of it deliberate so that leaves an awful lot of people without the opportunity to be able to meet their basic needs Elon Musk says that there is a pretty good chance we will end up with a universal basic income or something like that due to automation Remember, Elon and Jeffrey are sitting on the World Happiness Council to bring joy to the hearts of one and all. All right, all links are below, and I'm signing off, and I'll see you at the next video.